guys, Dr. Heavenly Kimes here, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about my mastermind class. Now, initially, I thought about just doing it with dentists and teaching them how to start and run a successful business. But then I thought again, business is business, and this is something that everybody can benefit from. We're going to give you 10 modules, one-on-one -on -one sessions with Heavenly, and some group sessions as well. I'm going to bring in some of my esteemed colleagues that are going to talk to you about business, money, relationships, finance, looking your best and so much more. Guys, I got so much to offer and I'm so excited. Come to DrHeavenlyUniversity.com and you won't be disappointed. We're gonna sacrifice about two years of your life to get you to everywhere you wanna be. Good morning, good morning. How y'all feeling today? Good morning, good morning. Let me try to get my head up. Stop dropping this. There we go. All right, good morning. We didn't have no commercials this morning. It is Saturday morning. We gonna get it, all right? Um, our our uh, motivation for today is why do people quit? Why do people quit their journey? Let's think about that. You know, people are on a journey. Everybody got a journey. They got different things they want to do. They got things that they're they're called to do. They got things that they they um would like to do. And some people quit. Let's think about it. I think that some people quit because it's not their gift. It's not their gift. Think about this. When you're in school, right, and you're in high school and um you do really, really well, right? You're excited about going to school. You're making A's and B's. You're popular, all that kind of stuff. You have a good time and you enjoy your senior year, your junior year, all of that, right? Imagine if you you didn't learn the way. I'm not going to say you're not smart. You didn't learn the way that the school systems taught you. So it was difficult for you. It wasn't fun because you kept making F's and all of that and you weren't popular because you learned differently, right? I think that people stop their journey when they're not successful at it. If they're not good at something, if they're not good at school, they quit in school. If they're not good at college and you're not getting, you know, the education and you're not doing good, and you're not getting good grades, you quit. I think one great thing is when you find your passion, usually, but not always, your passion should be attached to your gift. If your passion is attached to your gift, then you're on your way because you can do the hours. Remember they say it just takes 10,000 hours to be an expert at something. You ain't going to, you're not going to do it if you're not, do, if you're not good at it. If you're not good at it and you're failing at it and you're, you're not um, being well received with what you're doing, you will stop, right? Right? So my thing is now you need to learn to find your passion, right? Not only your passion, but your gift. Find something that you do easily. Something that you do easily. If you draw easily, if you sing easily, if you know graphics and you do that kind of stuff easy, computer stuff easily, find something you do easily and make it your passion. Listen, your passion cannot be not attached to your gift because if either way, you need to have both of them. You need to have your gift, something you're very good at, something you do very easily, right? And something you, th that's your passion. So your passion and your gift got to go hand in hand. Without that, that's not probably going to make it. So find something you really, really like doing, right? But not only something you really like doing, you got to find something usually that you are good at, good at. Listen, there's so many stories out there. You know, I could talk to you forever about how many people start something, find out they're not good at it, and then they, 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 they stop the process. They stop the journey. Listen, and I told you over and over again, listen, your journey is for you. Your journey is the whole thing. It's not about the destination. It's about enjoying the journey and celebrating often, right? That's how you stay happy. That's how you stay happy. You on a journey. Like, it's exciting for me to get up at 6 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, and talk to y'all. It's exciting. It, it, it ignites me. It helps me with my motivation every day because I need to get up and, and do my motivation and do my exercise and drink my water and exercise. Listen, and I think I'm good at it. Y'all let me know in, in the description box. I think I'm good at it. I motivate people. I love doing it, right? Because it's not only is it not expected of Dr. Heavenly, it's just something that I always wanted to do. And I say, you know what? At this point in my life, I'm very selfish. I'm going to do everything in this world I always wanted to do, right? 
And that's why I'm continuing Dr. Heavenly University. I'm doing a five-day check. This just because I want to do it, right? And I'm going to tell you something else. This is what I'm going to do. It's December, right? The time for giving, right? I'm going to give, give, give um, a free session. I'm going to give a free session on my Telegram group. Somebody find my Telegram group. I'll put it in the description box, right? My Telegram group is called Dr. Heavenly University, right? And I'm going to guarantee you that if some of our investments, if you put $1,000 in, I guarantee you will make money this month or I'll give you your $1,000 back. That's how sure I am that you're going to make money. Ain't no needing people making money and everybody not doing it, right? I got to show you. So if you're ready, go in my description box, right in the comment section. I'm ready. I'm going to put my Telegram link in my in my uh, description box. Hit that link, join my Telegram group. And when you get in my Telegram group, say you're ready. And I'm going to walk you through the process. You you uh, invest $1,000, just $1,000. And I guarantee you, if you don't make money on that $1,000, you ain't got to share it with nobody. You ain't got to do nothing. Just enter it where I tell you to enter it. If you don't make money, I'm going to give you $1,000 back. That's just how. I, and I'm only going to do that, wait a minute, for 25 people. I'm only doing it for 25 people. Listen, so if you're the first 25 to get in my Telegram group and say you're ready, I'm going to have my, my assistants get at you. They're going to help you invest your money. And if you don't make anything, I'm going to give you $1,000 back. That's just how that's going to go. Okay? Y'all ready? Who ready? This morning, let's get up, get out, get something. Learn your passion. What's your passion, y'all? What's your passion? Your passion has to be grouped with what you're gifted at, what you're good at, right? Because if you're not good at it, it ain't going to work. Because we talked about being competent, right? Persistent, consistent, and being competent. If you're not competent at what you're doing, you're not going to succeed, right? But I'm not saying you even got to be the best. Listen, McDonald's don't make the best hamburgers. We say that all the time. Your grandmama could make a better hamburger, right? But if you put the right systems in place, if you put the right marketing in place, you can make it with whatever you're doing. You ain't even got to be the best. You got to be competent, man. The burger got to taste all right. You got to be consistent with the marketing and you have to have a system in place. Listen, that's why people stop their journey. This is why people stop their journey because they're not good at it and or it's not their passion. We got to have both of them. We got to have both of them, right? Philippians 4.13. We got to have both of them. We got to have both of them. And we need Christ Jesus too, right? Get up. Start your prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Be grateful. Gratitude, right? Ask him to forgive you of your sins because you know you did some wrong. Let's get a clean, clean slate every morning. Let's meditate. Let's take time to think. Sit down. Be silent. Wait for God to talk to you. Get up. Exercise. Right? Eat right. Because I'm telling you, you feel better when you eat right. Right? Exercise. Go to the doctor, y'all. Every year, at least every year, go check that, get checked out, get your blood drawn and see what's going on. Is your sugar level too high? That can make a lot of things like you feeling depressed. It's something uh, uh, clinical, something clinical wrong. You know, go get yourself checked out, y'all. Go see your dentist, baby. Some people think their dentistry not important. Listen, dentistry is a part of the body. Listen, and that bacteria, that bacteria can go to your heart and all of your body. Your, your, your skin look better. When you don't have that bacteria in your mouth, go see your dentist, get your cleaners every six months. And if you want to look your best, do your best. Just the best place to start is a beautiful smile. Smiles by Dr. Heavenly, y'all. I'm just saying. 4429 smile. Get at me. Listen. And if you listen today, let everybody know about our morning inspiration. Let, let everybody know about our morning motivation, right? And I'm going to tell you this. I'm not, I ain't going to get that away yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to give one thing away. Y'all get more people in here. We're going to give some more stuff away, right? I got a, a Winter Wonderland coming up. Make sure y'all follow us on um, IG. Make sure y'all follow us on IG. We got a Winter Wonderland. We're giving toys away to the children for Christmas, right? And remember I told you one of the principles of success is you got to not only step back, right? Step back sometimes, slow your bills down, maybe cut some things out, some, some things small and big. Step back in order for you to invest in yourself because you got to invest in yourself. And then the most important part is you got to give back. That's one of the principles of success, y'all. If y'all not giving anything, then you can't be, that's just in the Bible. It's one of your principles, right? And I told you, I'm going to go ahead and get that book about Judaism and how they talk about giving back and how they understand money and why they're so good at, with money, right? They give it back. You got to step back 
Lower your bills, and then you got to give back. That's what you got to do. And we're going to continuously give back, Lord, and we're going to be grateful every morning. And the reason people stop their gift, their journey, is because they're not good at it. So go get competent and find your passion, okay, this morning. I hope y'all had a, have a great day. I'm going to say it again and every day. Get up, get out, get something, do something every day, every day to get to your goals. That's my time. Y'all have a great morning, okay? I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. It's George Truly, Miss Quad. And I'm Miss Mary Quad's mother. So we're here today to give our testimony about my mom's beautiful new smile. And this smile was provided by Smiles by Dr. Heavenly. So my mom had a, a crown that was a bit dated, actually more than 30 years old. What Heavenly decided to do was to update my mother's smile with a brand new crown. Heavenly makes everything extremely easy and comfortable. The experience was wonderful. Everyone on the staff was very nice and kind. She was real nice, she was real nice, and she explained everything as she was going along. It didn't take a long time. I really uh, entrust myself and my dental work and my smile with Dr. Heavenly because she has over 25 years of experience and that's a lot to be seen. It's just a, a more updated look. It's what's happening now. It's more of a now look. Miss Mary, how you liking your new smile? I love it. I'm very proud of it. Thank you, Dr. Heavenly. I love my smile. Thank you, Heavenly. I appreciate you giving my mom this beautiful smile. And honey, she looks better than ever. Ready. Baby, the, the teeth are fine. <laughs> I don't know. Smiles by Dr. Heavenly.